Hi there, Science of Cancer. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. It's a special reading. It has to do um, with the 14th, this solar eclipse coming up with the new moon. So time to whoa, cast some intentions. There may be some shadow work. I have a feeling this candle is going to go out in my little skull here for Halloween. So I have got um, another candle ready just in case so we can write and say a manifestation uh prayer there sent it up there for you all right cancer so asking that your spirit team join us your spirit team my spirit team ancestors angels gods goddesses anything that has a high message for you getting you to the timeline that you're wanting to be at messages for Cancer, we're going to take flippers, I think. Okay, what's the issue? What's the issue? I really want to know what's the issue. The Mother of Cups. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So that's usually the Queen of Cups. Um, but it says Mother in this archetypal deck. So this is the uh, Wild Unknown Kim Kranz deck. It could be talking about a mother figure, but it being in the reverse, there's something kind of like, um, mm, ooh. Why am I feeling like that needs to be you focusing on your health and you taking good care of yourself? There's something that's a challenge for you to walk away from. Um, and it's something that it was overdone. It was overplayed overconsumption mm. it's like you had fun and then something didn't go good and and now it's like look at all this big dark mountain goodness that's their challenge this energy is not a very compassionate energy they're hard to talk to not a good listener hard to talk to maybe somebody that likes to hear themselves more than anyone <laughs> right so I don't, I don't know. I don't know who that, if that's somebody in your life. You do, I'll say you have Pisces coming through really strong. What is the uh, heart of the matter? Tell me about the heart of the matter. The mother of ones. <laughs> this is an independent spirit at the heart of the matter. It's very protective of over their young just in this in this particular deck like if you look at the guidebook it is somebody who's really protective over over what they've got in their nest what is theirs what is theirs to protect infinitely protecting these eggs the mother of ones isn't afraid to even get burned as long as they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and what would lead them would probably be inspiration from their soul their passion um at the heart of the matter that this can be your energy this can be you wanting to put yourself back out there but there's an issue with like so if you're wanting love or business if you're wanting to put yourself back out there there's this um issue with you treating yourself the best you can first and being actually open to the, what it is that you're wanting to receive your heart can receive it <sighs> All right, the past energy here, let's look at this. And by the way, Leo or, or, or Aries, I mean, or Sag, really, for all of these court cards, they can be any kind of energy, but the influence is going to be fiery. <clears throat> something missing. There was something missing and something that you were really committed to at one time, like I said, at one time, but this Hierophant energy being in the reverse is like something told you or alerted you that something was missing okay so something alerted you something's missing and it's interesting this mother of cups is trying to point in a certain direction right forward But the view, I don't know if they can, if this is a person you're dealing with that has a hard time seeing from your perspective, because maybe they don't realize they're the ones 
upside down, <laughs> metaphorically. What is the uh, destiny or goals? Ooh, the truth, the victory, the truth, the sword of truth, the sword that can set you free. Um, wow, invincible. These two energies here together, invincible. This is the opportunity for a huge win. You have the infinity symbol. You have uh, this mother of wants um, at the heart of the matter. Your heart knows the truth. And your, your destiny is for you to use this knowledge that you have to armor yourself and win some kind of battle. All right. So you're armed with the truth to win a battle, and that's good. What is the um, future energy looking like for Cancer? Let me get a future energy for Cancer. I got a lot. I knew this was going to come out. I knew this was going to come out. Oh, my goodness. You've done all that you could do to help this energy. It's the Empress energy, but they're in the reverse. It's an energy of someone that needs to take care of themselves first. They can't take care of somebody else if they can't take care of themselves first. And there's issues. I don't know what these issues are, but I do know that you know that you've done all that you can do in a situation with the Ten of Wands. And it's like, yeah, fed up. Hands are in the air. This mother archetype. Uh -uh. It doesn't resonate with your truth. <clears throat> this energy does. This energy here is self first, self first over everything, you know, and, and even though it is important, we always say self love is very important. Um, these archetypes right here are, su are supposed to be over other energies, motherly nurturing. So when they're in the reverse, then there is an issue with regards to that. Okay. Lover's energy, Hierophant. Whew. How are you feeling? Probably spent. <laughs> You're probably feeling like, oh my God, I've done all that I can do with this. Now, if you don't resonate with that being a actual archetypal person, then it has to do with your creative creativity and feeling like feeling like you know you're you're blocked in a sense, like being able to. It's about creativity, but it's about uh, feeling like you just can't get into flow state with this energy. And here's the Son of Wands. Look at this. I would say that if it is a mother-son uh, dynamic, if it is, then it's, or mother, mother-daughter, it, it could be these two are good to go. as far as like uh, are on the same page and these energies are not on the same page this son of wands is coming out like it's the challenge like the challenge to move things forward it's gonna have it's, it's about somebody opening up to a different perspective to take a look at some kind of damage that was occurred or some kind of over like i said over overdoing it over consumption and now this mountain that honestly it looks like i just rather go past this mountain and so this energy isn't moving forward or backward if it's like this it's just there in the moment feeling passionate though passed on maybe even this if this person is passed on it could be passed on passion like you're just a passionate person um it is like the knight of wands energy so it could be like my twin flame card um but you know i don't i really don't like getting stuck on the names um, because some people feel like if you're going to label something like that, then you must have already met this person and all this other stuff. And somebody must be a runner or a chaser. It's kind of ridiculous. So I don't really subscribe to all of that. But I do believe that there is a tie or a connection here that you're not moving forward with or that you just have not moved forward with yet. Wow. In your environment, the Daughter of Swords could be a child, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be about um, if you're in this energy, then you're observing or you've been observing somebody. You've been gathering your own research, so to speak. Um, 
two of pentacle in the reverse you've seen what is off balance with someone because you've observed it and you've had others witness or document and observe this too and therefore your destiny is to have the information that you need to be armed and i'm telling you the fool is like yeah this information uh will show you why you can't trust this energy This is a heavy reading. This is a heavy reading. And it's feel like like that candle. It's like there's a a dim flame, but it's still it can still burn you. Hmm. So this is about putting wow, 33. This is about doing something yourself. Uh putting the hurt in the past. There's a little bit of immaturity mixed with third party gossip, backstabbing, and just honestly, just maturity though. Experience, maturity, putting it in the past is what I get from that though. Goodness, guys. <sighs> but you're having to do something alone and, and you're knowing that you have to put something in the past and walk forward kind of like alone going at it alone because this energy is not balanced enough and i won't say how do you know i'll just say that you've gathered the information you know you've observed it tell me about the outcome for cancer's energy trying to seek justice you really just want things to be fair and balanced for everybody involved and for everybody to get what would be best for them what would make things fair um this could be playing out in a legal situation this could be something where literally your partnerships are changing around and um soul contracts are changing and that's saying hang in there with this process because there is something that was so off balance in your environment you have definitely you're the magician and the outcome is that you're going to manifest what you want Give it some time, and there's definitely a partnership or something like that that's going to be put in the past. You will trust again. You will have an open heart again, and you will feel balanced. You may need to be flexible with some kind of um, resolve or solution. You may, you may need to be a little bit more flexible than what you maybe initially are willing to do. I would even wait for a sign for something because I got the seven of wands here, which is like, absolutely, you should charge forward, defend yourself, defend your cause, advocate for somebody. But remember that there is that light in the dark um, that this card represents. So I feel like if you keep your eyes and your heart open, you'll feel some kind of sign. If it's not already here with this reading. Okay, and that says Daughter of Swords, by the way. Let's get um, clarification. I think we know that we really just have to clarify uh, the, the main issue and the future energies. Um, because you are manifesting, I feel like you kind of, this is a predicting energy. Like, you, you predict it. And you see this magician is still staring down here at this little chick. Hmm. Oof, armed with information. Armed with information. Oof. All right, so without even asking, but I did say we were going to do these energies. How you're feeling is that you want to move forward, but you definitely don't want to make the same investment that you've made before in this energy. The influence is just to, um, it's already, like something's already been... It's already a lesson at this point. So burnout, I guess, would be the next step with that um, 10 of wands. And here we have timing is right. The timing is going to be right for you to follow your heart and be protecting what you're protective over. Uh, putting yourself out there, sharing your skills, talents, and abilities with everyone else. And risking getting burned. I'm thinking of that song, that Garth Brooks song, uh, standing, standing beside the fire or standing by the fire. 
standing outside the fire. Is that it? Life is not tried, it's just merely survived for standing outside the fire. All right, so something's turning in a good direction. This is fate, this is destiny, it's the wheel stepping in. Tell me about the Empress in reverse and the Ten of Wands. Temperance in reverse. Um, this person's just off balance. <laughs> off balance or the situation is off balance because even the angels in the spirit team can't force something to happen if somebody doesn't want to accept help or the help empress in the reverse on the bottom too this this could be somebody that's really still dealing with a lot of anger issues also and has having a hard time with themselves balancing the energies just within themselves so it'd be divine timing to move past these energies and then tell me what this magician is about give me something um about the magician and justice Jeez. Well, okay. So the Six of Cups can be a separating of ways from somebody that maybe at one time were connected to. But like I said, they, they, this is a situation where there's there's some healing that still needs to go on, right? And then somebody's parting ways. Okay. So then we have the King of Swords. So this is about the truth of the matter using your logic it's like saying i'm going to use my head over heart this time i'm going to do what is logical because it involves a different or another soul connection you don't want to make a, a regret you don't want to regret you don't want but but you are sad that something didn't work out however here's the magician again so I can also see this or read it as soulmate in separation instead of separating. It could be soulmate in separation. And so this could be about following logically what you're supposed to do because what you're manifesting might be a connection or a, some kind of reconnection from even past lives. I mean, it can be something that I, I couldn't go into even too much detail about. But so that's what I've got. Um... What should cancer do in the meantime, like in the in the environment or in regards to the fool in reverse, the two of pentacle in the reverse? Use your sword. <laughs> Use your sword of of maybe it's justice, it's truth, it's clarity, it's your epiphany, your awareness of this situation. It's kind of sad. But there's an awareness of it and like uh, an awareness that there's a new chapter and you're ready to move on to something higher um that is on your chart it's on your um destiny it is on it is fated for you all it does is involves you taking better care of yourself not making the same not having to choose a lesson again or repeat a lesson so let's pull a little bit from the kipper deck just to give us some more info 33, concern in the reverse. Hmm. I don't know if somebody's not concerned. It's number 33 again. I don't think there's any concern over having to do something on your own. Occupation in the reverse. This could be taking a toll on you as far as whatever this issue is. It's taking a lot of time out of or time out of your mind for work ultimately you're freeing yourself though mature woman in the reverse which would be maybe the opposite or somebody that you're that there's issues with and then I have false person number eight. It could be the energy that's like off balance. 
that could be a false person or somebody that you thought was, like I said, a soulmate, but ended up not being. Message of concern on the bottom. Let's pull some tea leaves. Dogs getting together with friends. Maybe it's time karmically for something of good fortune to start coming in. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Feather, someone you know is undependable or insincere. Kite, a vacation. I'm going to pull a few more. I don't like sitting on five. <laughs> Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Bow, you are highly thought of. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Mountain road, you are on the road to success. Shark, take care of there would be a loss of material wealth. And then I have bowl, plenty of material things. Plenty of material things. And we'll close out with your angel number message. If you're looking for a private reading, like I say, you can find my website. It's in the description box below listed. Um, just click on that and get a private reading for yourself. All right. And then in the meantime, enjoy this wonderful, the, the wonderful energies of the eclipse. I am awakening one 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 the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are i am awakening 31 i am disciplined just like that king of swords there um it says your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined and your heart is golden. 24, you have a heart of gold. You're maintain, You're skilled at maintaining healthy, balanced relationships. <laughs> Stable. I just didn't say that. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous, it says, to affirm Sending you love and light, my cancers.